everybody welcome to my channel if you haven't been here already my name is jasmine and in this video today i'm basically going to show you guys how i grow out my nails because they were really short and like they're pretty long Alright, guys have to cut the video for a second i'm editing this and i just wanted to add this in don't mind my hair i look crazy and while you're watching the video if you hear a lot of noises i do live in the projects so don't judge me so i'm sorry if there's a lot of noise all right i'm trying to add background music so you don't hear it okay love you guys like they're not the longest they could be but they're definitely growing and sorry if they look a little ratchet but it's okay and also i'm going to show you guys what i use for my skin so let's start off with the nails if you want to grow out your nails one thing you have to do is protect them from anything from literally cracking breaking biting them so first thing you should do stop biting your nails because if you bite your nails you're literally just gonna continue to shorten it and it'll never have a chance to grow out so that's step one step two make sure you buy good nail polish either a nail polish it could be colored or it could be clear nail polishes that's what i use but i'll show you in a second which ones i use i use three and the reason i think you shouldn't always use dark nail polish is because if you continuously put dark nail polish on your nails your nails could turn yellow but that's not a bad thing yellow nails aren't horrible because you could always cover them up but if you want clear or whiter nails you should not always put dark colors on your nails so the first thing i use for my nails is this it's the ultra growth aloe vera it's like it's normal this is like a regular regular schmegler um why i forgot the name i always go blank in my videos i am so sorry but i'm not gonna cut it out because that's who i am so yeah but it's just a regular nail polish there we go i don't know why i forgot that but literally i take this and then i just paint my nails with it and it's just like a clear coat basically let me show you so it just leaves like a clear polish on your nail and its benefit is that it grows your nails out and it literally says growth right there but along with this i use two other ones i use a regular shining coat which is like this it looks pink but it comes off clear and then this one is calcium it's like a calcium nail polish it looks like a pinkish color but it also comes out clear so you don't have to worry about like coloring your nails if you don't want any color in your nails and guys could use this too if they want to grow out their nails i don't know why would they want to grow actually no you don't even have to use this to grow out your nails you use this to strengthen your nails so it prevents it from breaking on like regular surfaces and stuff like that another thing you should do is once a week you should file your nails like twice like one two like just to shape it because you don't want all your nails to be crooked or lopsided or different like shapes and everything like if you see like my nails are sort of like straight across they're not like slanted or anything and these nails are shorter because they just grow sh sh ugh, they grow slower there we go yeah and every week what i do to grow my nails is i don't just put this on like once a week i like pile it on three times a week so for the first day i would put uh, let's say i'll put these two then the second day i'll add this one then the third day i'll add this one just to make sure it stays like that and it doesn't crack my nails so after that when a week passes you can take um acetone or nail polish remover and then remove it if you want because you don't want to keep piling it on and then adding more because that could actually make your nails brittle and actually break them more so yeah don't do that and another thing to do is get oil this is not the oil i use but you know i don't have it right now so what actually i do use this but not for my nails i use it for my hair but it actually works so when i use this for my hair i actually take the rest of the oil that's in my hands and i rub my cuticle like this so that you know my cuticles are nice and helps your nails grow faster the last thing i do for my nails and sorry if i'm rushing through this i just came from school <laughs> but yeah the last thing i do and i talked about these vitamins in my last video i think these are the best vitamins for nail growth like maybe not for hair growth and everything skin and all that but definitely for nail growth like my nails never got this long they have always broke and everything but since i've started taking the nature's bounty hair skin and nail gummies with how much biotin does it have has 2500 mcgs per serving and you eat two of these a day I actually didn't eat mine today so 
I'm gonna eat them right now. I usually take them in the morning before school, but yeah. So they look like this. And they taste really good. <laughs> they basically just taste like strawberries, like artificial sort of, <laughs> even though they're not. I don't think they are. No, they're not, but they taste like gummy candy. Like if you had like a gummy candy in the store. So yeah, they're really good. And they're really good for making your nails stronger. Not only just nail growth, but it makes your nails like stronger and thicker. Because my nails were really thin, so they wouldn't grow fast and they would always break, like I said. But because I've taken these, they've stopped breaking off and they're just growing now straight across and they're not breaking. Literally, I hit things all the time and my nails don't break. I don't know if it's because of the nail polish or that or the combination of both, but that definitely helps. So if you want to grow out your nails, you should try those two things. And now I'm going to show you two products that I use for my skin. Actually, three. I have to go get it, though, so I'll be right back. I actually ended up having five products. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I actually had five products instead of three. I thought I was going to have three products, but I guess not. So, yeah. So the first thing I want to say is if you have acne and you're struggling with acne, especially here, like, I wear glasses, so I always break out here or on my nose for some reason or, like, on my forehead. And you can sort of see, like, little dots. But... If you have acne and you want to get rid of that as fast as possible, the best thing you could do is buy this. The Neutrogena, the oil-free acne wash, but the pink grapefruit one. But the thing about this is it's an amazing product. It literally dries out your pimples and you can literally like rip them off. I know that sounds weird, but you can just literally just peel them off because it dries it out. The same way like if you put toothpaste on your skin, how it dries it out and it's easier to like scratch off or something like that. But literally, if you use this, it smells good. It smells like pomegranate, so. I said pomegranate. It smells like grapefruit. I'm sorry. I don't know where my brain at today, but it smells like grapefruit. I wonder if they do have a pomegranate. They should make one. I don't know. But yeah, it smells like grapefruit. And because of the grapefruit, like if you ever ate a grapefruit, you know how it like tastes sour or something that's how it smells i'm sorry i had to cut the clip i'm literally editing this right now and i'm like what was i saying i said it tastes like grapefruit that's how it smells come on jazz what are you doing with yourself but it smells good to me i don't know but yeah so if you like that smell get this but not only that it's really good like i said for your acne but the only thing about this product is when you use it you can't use it too much like you can use it every day but don't like put three pumps and rub your face with it and leave it on for too long because it does dry out your face and you might have like flakes in your face sometimes but the good thing is it takes your acne away so if you want to get rid of acne this is really good and it's a cheaper option than those other big name acne things if you would want something for that but because that face wash makes my skin a little um dry I use this but I don't know if everyone would want this because it's really expensive. It's probably like, I don't know how much this costs because my friend's mom gave me this. So, yeah. But I really think it's a good product. If I was old enough to have enough money to buy this by myself, it's probably like $80, $50. I don't know, something like that. That's a lot. But yeah, I think you can get this in Sephora, but it's this. I don't know if you can see that. I'll read it off for you. It's the apps, app absolute absolute i don't know absolute night precious cells by lancome lancome i don't know something like that yeah but this really is good for your skin and this does not break you out usually when i put any type of lotion on my face my face would break out so when i tried this out it was really good it has like a rose or flower on it i don't know if you can see that but it's just literally like a white cream i'll put some on my face now if you want why am I asking like you guys are gonna see this right now so yeah you just put it in your face and I usually put it like in my cheeks because that's where my face gets the driest at and it smells so good it smells like if you're like a little baby and like you're just been like wrong. okay Jazzy way to get into details <laughs> put everything you know just a clean baby you know <laughs> so yeah I usually put it on my cheeks I look yeah and it makes your face like so soft so that's one good thing about this product. Not even one good thing, that's a good thing, you know? I don't know, man. Not one good thing. But that's an amazing thing about this product. So the next three products are all 
sort of related sort of not so the next two products i'm gonna show you are from bath and body works and i've also tried one of these out on my channel it was one of the first videos i ever made and i tried out this face mask it's called if you shea cell by by um bath and body works it has shea butter and jo jojoba jojoba i don't know how people say that there's like a thousand ways to say it people say jojoba oil or jojoba oil you know what i'm trying to say where is it right there i don't know the correct way to say it but i'm gonna just say jojoba oil okay so this is really good for your face because you just leave it on for how long 10 to 15 minutes and it does not cost a lot it costs 4.95 that might be a lot for a face mask but it works really well it puts a lot of moisture back into your skin because i know like our skin can get really dry so that's also another thing that you could use with this oh matter of fact that's perfect so if you buy this and you want something to moisturize your face i suggest you get this if you're not trying to spend a lot of money on a cream so that's a really good thing and if also another good product that i don't have right now but my niece uh, let me use it it is um cetaphil i think queen Nigel uses that like she had it on one of her videos if you know who that is um so yeah it's like another face wash that's really good for like skin that is prone to acne and stuff like that so that's a really good thing and the next thing from bath and body works is the power lifter activated charcoal face mask so i don't use this a lot but i use it like occasionally and it's just the charcoal mask it's black you just put it on your face and this is not the one that hurts so when you put it on your face it just dries up and then you can peel it off easily and someone just threw my paper out the window but anyway so like i said you can just peel it off and your face feels nice and soft and sometimes depending on how much acne you have it might take everything out or not i don't know for me i have small pores so it's hard to take things out so you can just take it out myself that's not tmi i don't know but yeah i really like that but if you're like me and it's hard for a lot of like stuff to come out your face especially blackheads i suggest you get this this is not the original like peel off mask that everyone uses that hurts but it definitely is the same thing because this hurts like i put this on and literally when you're peeling it off you tear like you have tears rolling down your face but this one is k beauty peel off mask and i got oh i'll tell you where i got everything at and where you can get everything at after this but yeah they had this didn't cost that much this probably cost ten dollars and how much did this cost this cost me let's see i don't know I'm gonna just say around $14. Oh, there was the price on there, but I can't, I don't see it now. So yeah, but my sister works in Bath and Body Works, so if she was here, I would ask her, but she's not. So, okay, so I'm gonna tell you where I got everything. Obviously, you could get these in any Bath and Body Works if they're still available. I know they definitely have this still, and they should have this still, but if not, they have a lot of variations of both, so you'll be fine. And this, you could get in any like mall, like Macy's, anything that has you know like expensive products like this and everything like that so yeah you can do that and then these two products literally you can get them in the same place depending on where you live but you can literally get this at cvs your local beauty supply store and everything like that so yeah guys these are my products that i like for my skin and nails and i hope you enjoyed the video i love you guys so much like comment share and subscribe and let me know down in the comments if this quality is better because i did get a new phone so yeah hopefully the quality is better and the audio is better and everything i still don't have a camera but i might get a camera soon depending on if i have enough money to do that and yeah i love you guys so much thanks for watching bye